Okay, in this video, I'm going to have a look at the tracking capabilities of Project Libra um, that are available by using baselines. Now, you'll see in the menus here that we have Save Baseline and Clear Baseline available to us. Now, these particular buttons are also available under the Task menu here and here, uh, not on Resources and not on Views, so under File and Task. Now, to get this running, I've got um, some basic data inputted here already, showing name, duration, start, finish, predecessors and resources. Now, for this particular demonstration, I don't need either predecessors or resources, so what I'm going to do is right-click over predecessors, as I've just done, and click on hide column. So it gets rid of that, and I'm going to do the same over here, so hide that one as well. Now, with this extra space, I'm going to use that in a moment, um, but first of all, it's going to show you what the baselines look like on the graphics area here. So if we take this information here, if I click on Save Baseline, you'll see that it gives us a couple of choices here. So we have Baseline, and we have, well, Baseline. We also have these ones here. So in total, the system will hold 11 baselines. Uh, baseline with no number, and then 1 through 10. So I'm going to just go for Baseline 1, and I'm going to apply this to the entire project and click OK. Now when I do that, what you'll see happen is a magenta line will appear under here, which will show you uh, what that baseline values are. So if I click OK there, in it goes. So here's our magenta line. Uh, you can see it, and it ties in, just basically shadows what happens all along there. Now, um, that's the baseline set. Now what we can do is have a look at some tracking information here as well. So what I'm going to do is insert some columns. So this time, right-click, Insert Column, and I'm going to put in the actual start, click OK, and I'm also going to put in the actual finished. There we go, actual finish, and click OK. Now it makes sense to try and keep these together, so what I'm going to do is just grab this actual finish column and put it here. So now we've got duration, start, actual start, finish, and actual finish. Now what these baselines do is allow us to enter data into these actual start and finish columns here which will push all of our schedule but at the same time we can still see what the original baseline values were so if for instance I change this from the 8th uh, to let's just say the 10th okay and click enter, hit enter. there we go uh, you'll see there the entire project moved all right and we can still see this baseline information here so we can see there that you know the net result of all of our changes has pushed out the project to this point in time here. Now we can do other things as well. Um, say for the sake of argument, say I want another baseline at this point. So I can save another baseline, and I'm going to call this one baseline two, and click OK. You probably difficult to see that, but there's a yellow line now underneath all of these various items here. So if for the sake of argument, instead of um, the planned start of activity E on the 19th, let's just see what happens if we delay that. So 19th is a Friday, so let's put it to the 24th and hit enter there. And again, you'll see that this part portion of the project has actually been affected. So we can see all of the cumulative effects of the various changes. So I'm going to save this baseline as baseline 3. Let's keep it. There we go. And now we can start to see. So, difference between baseline 2 and 3 is nothing. You can see there. And then we see the changes as they're happening here. So, this particular activity has been pushed out by quite a bit. Um, we can push finish dates as well. So, if instead of taking 5 days, um, let's just take this activity here. And instead of saying finished on the 6th, let's just push that. Um, 6th to the 7th, so I better push that to July. And let's just push it to the 10th and click Enter. Now what you'll see there is that it has pushed the duration of this out. It is now showing it complete because we have set it up as finished. So it has an actual finish here. This is just a planned duration. Uh, we said that we've actually finished the task at this point in time. And again, just save a baseline on this one. Uh, go for five and again you can start to see all these baselines uh, building up now you can also clear those baselines if you want so for instance if I were to want to get rid of uh, baseline two 
Uh, I can do that by going into clear baseline and selecting baseline 2 for the entire project. Click OK and now it's gone. So that's how you can build up some tracking data. Um, it pushes on start dates, finish dates and all the rest. It's really quite good. Alright, thank you for watching.